Yeah, that doesn't make sense because this is written in here, but let me fix that really quick. Okay. Uh, where have I been? Right, my footer doesn't show. Why is that? It's because I don't have it import imported. Include ones footer.php and now see it says login maybe the same can be done for admin page because if I'm not logged in then I cannot access the admin page but there we go you get the point right you get the point I only have to use these two options. Okay, so I wanted to work on the I wanted to work on my CSS and I forgot what it's at. So let's see. Okay, just make style.css. And we have these two things uh, called div parent and div child child and put this one above the other one because alphabetical order oh I did a mistake it was section so the parent is just text aligning center or you can do it if you want to you don't have to center and the child is going to say inline um, display right display inline block and it's also yeah I don't know I think that's all right so now we have it in center mm, footer I also want a footer in center so my footer is going to be text align center my header will be as well okay um, yeah I could put some art there let me actually so I have a logo for my header now which is exactly okay <laughs> I mean yeah why not it seems fine <laughs> so yeah let's do also my text Wants body font family. Let's do a classic one, Verdana. Okay, my header mm, is going to have a padding of twenty pixels. Wait, I'm wrong. Margin, 20 pixels. Neither that. Why is that? Because I messed it up. There we go. Uh, seems fine. Now, also, we could put this one to float uh, to the left, but I mean, it doesn't matter. So let me log in. Welcome, admin. And we have this log out. I don't know if I should do anything else. By the way, so if I clear my session up, I will still log in again. Now it's hard to demonstrate why is that is because it's hard to tell what actually happened. But if I take my individual cookies and go for localhost and remove the session, I session ID, my session will be basically removed so I'm basically not logged in right now, but I can um, let's go to login. See, I'm logged in again, basically. And now you'll see, right? You will see in a second that the session cookie is there again. So it basically works. 
Now I don't know what to do anything else about this, so it seems pretty alright. I mean, oh, I don't have an admin page. Yeah, let's create the admin page for fun and yeah. Admin .php peach. Let's say section and it has a div of child. And here we can say something like p hello php echo cookie mm, I'm wrong here user name name and welcome to your private admin section of this website here you can do whatever <laughs> ever you like to do the possibilities are are endless do something like an UL which contains an LI five LI we write written <laughs> okay uh, worked out well so on code error line 19 let's see what's line 19 Uh, we couldn't prepare the query, that's surprising. Call to member function. Maybe it's because of this one, dbh. Admin php line, line 4. dhp, yeah, <laughs> of course we can't prepare then. But there we go. Um, this one is for some reason not right because I forgot class parent. There we go. UL align left. Okay, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> but I mean, you get the point, right? So let's say I wasn't logged in, and this is what I meant by I just need this. So if I go to admin page now, see. I get redirected to the login again. I don't see even this, even if it worked. So therefore it's faster code. Nice. Uh, 26 minutes, so I guess that's basically it for this login uh, form tutorial. I hope this was quite interesting to watch, I hope. Um, yeah, maybe I can do something similar sometime. And yeah, I mean, all right, I can show you what happens if somebody else logs in and how you notice something that someone has hacked into your account. So I'm logging in here. What will happen? I'm logged out here. Why is that? Simply because of our functions which is the check login state it always checks in the database whether the session exists so now somebody else logged in and I'm kicked out here uh, nice indicator that somebody hacked into the account if I'm working here or yeah coming back I haven't logged in anywhere else and somebody logged in quite also a security feature and you would know right you could make like a second database where you keep previous sessions and if you can find the session of this one in the old one and there is a new one you could say um, previously logged in from another device maybe track the IP down I don't know say previously logged from another device like a warning but yeah as I said it's up to you what you do with it I actually used this uh, kind of thing already for a project one month ago. So as a request for a project and yeah, I think it works great. 
So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.